Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic. Today we are going to be DPSing Scarlet Monastery Graveyard on our Blood Elf Rogue. We have a Mage and a Hunter on DPS with us. We have a Torn Druid who's going to be tanking, and a Blood Elf Priest who is going to be healing. So we have a pretty decent group, and we're getting some quests, a lot of quests. So I am okay with that. A lot of them are red quest but it's nice to have them we'll see what we get done and uh we're just gonna have a good time and try to clear the run so yeah took us about 45 minutes or so i put this group together myself from people that i found in looking for groups spamming the channel looking in the tool and yeah it took us a while to get a tank and a healer as it often does but uh after a little shy of an hour we were able to put this group together and it's very diverse, and I think it's going to be a good time. We are going to... Recount show. We're going to do overall damage. A few of you guys voiced that you just want to see the overall damage done, so we'll keep that like that. Uh, we do need to make some poisons here before we get going. Hopefully we have a moment to do that and get them refreshed on our weapons. we go there's one and two and we should be good now I don't have a dagger in my main hand so I can't ambush or backstab at least I don't think I can ambush yeah, it requires a dagger in the main hand We're gonna let him pull back. Let's turn uh let's turn these health bars on. We have Blade Fury now, so on a two minute cooldown we have a little bit of AoE. Hits an additional target nearby. Naughty secrets, oh boy. What kind of secrets are those? Oh, you were a guy. <laughs> Fist weapon, we can't use that. It's cool though. I don't think I have not seen many fist weapons drop in classic ever, so. Uh, I don't want to be in stealth waiting for this, I don't think. Let's get up here. Yeah, it's unfortunate that both Ambush and Backstab require a dagger in the main hand. Uh, we definitely have a, a sword in the main hand, which is what I want to do. It's a slower weapon, and it has more DPS than the dagger that we previously had in our main hand, so...
Uh, I wonder if he's gonna clear everything. It seems like he might he might just clear everything, which is it's fine with me. We can do that. Couldn't interrupt that, apparently. I think it's going to be important for me to use Blade Fury whenever it's off cooldown. Uh, so anytime it's off cooldown, we have more than one enemy on us. We'll go ahead and pop that. Uh, to, to enable that, I'm going to put that down here on three. That's going to make it a little bit easier for me to see. I think this is the first time in a long time I've been in a group where they have decided to clear all this stuff. Spirit and Stamina. Looks cool, but we don't exactly need those stats. Kind of painful when we have a big group and we don't have any AoE to put out, but such is the life of a rogue right now. Well, hello there. Let's, uh... Oh, 
I'm pretty sure we have to go down here. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna clear to the side first. Okay. Ah, uh, that was a little bit of a waste. I should have saved Blade Fury till we had some elites that were gonna last a little bit longer than that. Oh, that is a cool serpent pet that the hunter has. That's really cool looking. I, I like that a lot. Uh, let's go on the elite. Oh, the gouge stopped his casting. That was nice. Another good place that we could have used Blade Fury, um, Flurry even. Still got a while before it comes off cooldown though. There we go. Blood Mage Thalnos. I have to assume this is the last boss. I know that uh, Graveyard is a rather small dungeon. Can't kick that. And he dropped an offhand item that increases damage and healing done by magical spells. Very nice. Yeah, I think that's it for here. Maybe not. Let's let's run out and make sure. You'd think after so much time I would know the exact end of a dungeon, how many bosses were in it, but yeah. Not necessarily the case. Maybe we can go this way too, but maybe that's just what they added when we when we're in retail. Yeah, that's it for the run, guys. They kind of want to run it again. I, I wouldn't mind running it again. That took a very, very small amount of time. And so if they want to run it again, I think that I am cool to do that. Yeah, let's, let's do it one more time.
feel like that was a pretty smooth run. And, you know, it took us an hour, it took me an hour to get the group together. So, if we can do two runs with one group, I feel like that is good. Are we supposed to get the Scarlet Library key out of here, or do we not need a key for library? Also, these quests that we have, I mean, we didn't get them done here, so they must be done in different, uh, different parts of Scarlet Monastery. Alright, that should be good. Should have reset us. And there we go. Okay, let's let's do it again. Let's reset our meters. And there we go. Wait for buffs to go up. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's not the healer that went AFK for a drink, I, I think that we are good. Oh, we got put to sleep. <laughs> we must have been too high on the aggro chain there. Oh, that is a long sleep. 20 seconds? That's a long time to be asleep. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> You're hurting my numbers. How dare you put me to sleep for so long. And the same fist weapon. Oh, looks like we got level 31 there. That's nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and spend a talent point here. Let's grab that. Can I pick it up? Can I pick what up? What did I do? Can I pick it up?
Um, I'm not sure what they're talking about. I didn't miss any loot, did I? No, I didn't miss any loot. Let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I actually can unlock it. Failed attempt. Perfect. <laughs> Lots of failed attempts here. Failed attempt again, number two. Uh, and maybe eventually, there we go. I can definitely do that. We don't need that, but maybe the tank does. I broke the crap out of that ice trap, didn't I? Look at that, our lockpicking skill was actually useful to somebody else. You guys can let me know if you think that if while I'm wielding a sword, is going into stealth to get a Garout off worth it, DPS-wise? 
Doesn't really seem like it matters too much, uh, looking at the numbers, but... Oh dear. <laughs> I am going to come up here for a minute. Because I think that was my fault. Well, we lived. That's the good part. None of them were really elites except for the one, so... Ah, uh, we're waiting. I wonder... Okay, here we go. Yep, this way. Here we go. This is a good time for Blade Flurry. Be nice to have had Blade Flurry up for this just for the additional attack speed, but I feel like it's fine. Can't kick that, one day I'll remember. And yes, yeah, same drops each time. Well, that's it guys, that's two runs of the, sh of the graveyard. And no key for 
the library, so I have to assume that we can get into the library without a key, and then we need keys going forward. Either way, it's been a good couple of runs here. I've really appreciated the group. And yeah, thank you guys for being here and spending your time with me in Azeroth. I really do appreciate the support. Especially for those of you who are sticking around this late in the video. A special thanks to my patrons and those of you who are members on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Everyone take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back somewhere in Azeroth again really soon. Bye now.